Yeah, we're live. Hi, hello everyone. Hello. hello. Happy holidays. Yeah, so we're going to do another um, Christmas painting today. So we're going to draw this Santa on a chimney, okay? And I'm going to use um, watercolor for this, okay? So we're going to do this one. So keep all your materials ready. So by that time, Twinkle is here. She will, uh, you know, mm -hmm. announce some uh, details about our contest. Yeah, sure. Let me share my screen. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, hello, kids. Twinkle here. So, thank you for joining. Our YouTube live today, we will uh, open our Christmas art contest. So this is our rules and condition. So we are open for 5 to 7 and 8 to 12 years. And the, uh, when December 18 to December 29, 2021, uh, we're to post Instagram, Facebook group, and Circle community. Choose one video from three video tutorials, then create your own version and submit your entry. So we have how to paint Olaf, how to draw and paint Christmas Nutcracker, and the third one is our live today. So please wait our replay so you can, um, you know, watch it later. And then rules and condition. Post your child's picture holding their artwork. Make sure to add your kid's name in, um, and age group in the caption. Use the hashtags Nimis Art, Nimis Christmas 2021, and tag us Nimis Art. The contest ends at 11 p.m. CST and December 29, 2021. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you will be updated. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nimis Art. And then please do not DM your entries. Please do not make it your story. And do not email your entries. Um, prizes. One t-shirt, kids premium tea, and then one art material. And then lucky winners will be four, two for five to seven, and two from eight to 12 years. So winner's announcement, December 31, 2021. Yep. Okay, next will be our... okay can you see it now yeah so if you want to um learn at your home during this christmas season well go to academy.nimisart.com and then we have little artists and young artists we have 100 plus videos available for you so um you can enroll anytime it's open so yeah that's it yeah so we have some more Christmas videos, uh, you know, from last year's in that video lesson. So you can check everything. Yeah, they so can enjoy all the courses inside during this time. Yeah, let's start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's start. start. Okay, so I hope you can see this. So this is the one we're going to draw. So we're going to draw this cute sander, some, you know, simple shapes and, you know, lines and stuff. And, you know, uh, this is one suggestion for, for this uh, background. Maybe you can add something else. So if you don't want to draw this chimney, maybe you can add something else too, okay? So we'll be drawing this sander today. So let's start with the sketching part. We need a pencil and eraser. Just a normal pencil and eraser. And, you know, uh, if you have a permanent marker or Sharpie, you can outline that, you know, uh, for the before painting. Yeah, if you don't have a permanent marker, you don't need to outline, okay? You can just keep that as a pencil sketch. So let's start with the shapes. First, I'm going to start from here. Just mark, okay, leave a space at the top, like a four finger or one hand space at the top. Just mark. And then you can draw a kind of oval shape. Just make a big oval shape for the head. So this is including that, you know, big beard. 
very light drawing so don't darken the lines since this is just a rough sketch we will erase some lines later i hope you can see this drawing yeah very rough sketch light and soft sketch okay and if you want to know the size of this oval it's like one hand space it's just one hand space yeah can you make it bigger that that's okay don't make it too small it will be really difficult to you know add the smaller smaller details inside so it's better to make bigger done so that's an oval shape for the head then we'll draw the that big you know that uh, triangle or it's between triangle and rectangle shape right so you have to draw that that shape for the body so make maybe you can leave a three finger space both side and mark it this is where we're going to start okay yeah i'm just leaving three finger space so this is one easy method mark it and you can draw one line from each of that mark and i'm going to make a big triangle like shape yeah it's kind of triangle like shape it's a sl slightly curved line again this is also same um, length you can take the measurement with the pencil just take the measurement of the head yeah you can take the same measurement and then connect it to the side so i'm making a curve instead of straight line so all these lines are curves slightly curved lines not straight line so we started with a big oval shape yeah you can take one hand space yeah according to your paper you can take it and then just mark three finger space on the sides of this oval and from each of that mark draw another curves then close the shape with another curve so it's almost the same measurement so you can take the measurement with the pencil the tip of the pencil and then to this side okay it's almost similar same size so this is one simplest in a way of drawing sanda nothing is complicated then we will draw the legs so i'm going to draw two rectangle shapes yeah it's not too big okay maybe one hand space or just, just a small a small rectangle is fine two rectangles same size one two oh this one looks a little bit bigger right so i'm going to adjust the size Yes, kind of okay. Yeah, two rectangle shapes for the leg. Then we have to draw the the shoes. So I'm going to draw a small. Yeah, maybe you can draw it on that same line. Just draw a sleeping line on that line. Small horizontal line on the same line. one two small one so it's like a big l shape look at the side one two it's like a big l shape l shape then right and then you can add a small tiny triangle like shape look at that triangle like shape a slightly curved line with a rounded tip curve with a rounded tip same measurement so it's like it's like two finger space or something right for this uh, this line so just mark the same thing on the other side yeah you can take measurement with the pencil too yeah this much and what you have to do is start a curve and it should look like a triangle shape with a curve on the tip that edge slightly curve i'll make it bigger on a rough paper so you can see it clearly i'm going to draw the leg so it's like a rectangle shaped 
leg with one line here and a curve like a triangle shape with a rounded tip. Okay, this is what I did, but it's very small. Done. Now, this is one single shape, right? So, erase this line. Erase this line. Okay. So, now we got that exact shape of the leg, including boots. Yeah, we'll go into the details in the next step. Let's finish the arms, the hands too. Yeah, I can see this one. First, I'm going to draw one line from this side. Same type of line, almost same width, okay? Straight line. And the next line is from the side of the beard. It's not from the corner, it's from the side of the beard. Okay, I think that is too big, too wide. So I'm going to erase and make it into the same width, okay? That's fine, anything is fine. Then close the shape. That's a rectangle shape. And then you can draw a mitten shape for the um, hand. So you can add a small U shape, like upside down U shape and a small tiny thumb on the side. So let me make it bigger. See, we did a rectangle shape for the arms, then a big upside down U shape, then a small tiny U shape on the side. Okay, so we got the mitten shape for the hand. And erase this line, this tiny line on the side of the thumb. So that's a one, that's one single shape, right? Mitten shape. Yeah, we got it. So any question, I think, yeah, I'm just reading the messages, okay? Okay. So I hope... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Mimi, it uh, seems like your camera is a bit, uh, a bit blurry. Oh, okay. So let me just check that. Thank you. Yeah, maybe Thank the you. focus. Yeah. I'll just... Okay. Is it clear now? Yeah, all good, all good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it a little bit closer. Yeah. So we got that shapes. Now we're going to draw this hand, okay? So he's holding that big bag of all the Christmas presents. So it's like, like this, okay? Maybe you can draw a small tiny rectangle shape with a rounded tip okay from the corner of this shape okay these two shapes just add a small tiny rectangle like shape but it is slightly rounded at the tip because that's elbow and you can check this is only half of this thing it's a smaller one because it's half of the full arm yeah it's just half okay smaller one and draw the next you know part from the wrist to the elbow so that's going to start from the same line another rectangle same line another rectangle same size so he's holding that bag right so so this is the position of the arms from uh, shoulder to the elbow, elbow to the wrist, okay? First, we did a rectangle like shape with a rounded uh, corner or rounded end. Then I added another rectangle from that side. And erase all the lines inside this, the second rectangle shape. Now you can add the uh, you know hand but here we are now drawing the mitten shape we are just drawing the side of the hand okay it's like the side of the hand so 
So it's like a small U shape, but slightly curved here. U shape, and it's like a bean shape. Look at that, it's a small curve here. U with a curve here. So just tell me when you uh, when you need time. Okay, I'll just pause in between. Okay, now we're going to draw the big bag. So let's draw the big bag now. So let's start from here. Okay, just add a big. Yeah, any type of shape, circle or oval or any some random shape. There is no particular shape, okay? You can draw any type of shape. Slightly rounded. Here. And he's holding that the bag, right? So we have to draw this tiny end of the bag with a triangle or rectangle-like shape from that U shape. Hand. And that will continue to the shoulder line. One, two. You see that? One, two. So this is the same line continuing here. And now we have to erase everything inside this big shape. So this shape is just in front of the you know shoulder, right? So we have to draw this line. In front, the shoulder line, you can erase. So these are the lines we need. Okay, I hope it was clear. Yeah, you can do, you know, your own version. If you if you don't like, if, it, if you want a simpler version or a different type of bag or something, you can do it, okay? Any changes. You can make any changes you like. So we, we got the basic shapes. Now we're going to add the details of the uh, head. Then we'll add the details of the body, then legs and arms. Then we'll move on to the background details, okay? That's the steps. Yeah, you can draw any details in the background. But that we will do after this. First, we'll finish this main subject. So first, I'm going to add this cap, okay? This, this rectangle like piece of the cap, that fluffy area of the cap. So add one line in the middle, almost in the middle. Yeah, tiny bit above it, but it's fine. Anywhere it's fine. Kind of in the middle. Not exactly. Th this is tiny bit bigger, but more closer to uh, the, the middle part of the oval shape. Just mark that line. Then you can draw an oval-like shape above it. So this is the line we did first. Then we have to draw another line above and make a rounded tip or oval like shape on the edges and that's going outside that big oval head shape okay so this is the line we did now and that line is covering the sides of this big head shape so what we have to do next we have to raise the lines on the side this tiny line on the side one two these two lines will go And then we have to draw the store part of the hat. And before that, I'm going to add the small circle, that fluffy thing at the end of the cap. It's closer to the side and it's touching this oval-like shape. So add a small circle, tiny circle. So easy, right? So just add a small circle and connect to the tip of the, you know, the toe part of the oval. Yeah, we got that shape. And if you want, you can make any changes. If you don't like this shape, if you want to make it into a different shape, you can erase and redo it, okay? But I'm going to keep this way so it is very simple, right? I don't want to make things complicated. So simple is always better in watercolor. But you know, it's up to you. If you want to change, you can do it. Yeah. And now we have to draw the, the face. And for the face, I'm going to add a small board-like shape. A tiny small boat like shape here, like oh, what is it called? It's like a rectangle with a rounded curve, corners, right? 
a tiny gap because we, we just need to draw dot for eyes and a small L shape for the nose. Okay, and then mouth just below it here. Yeah, you can draw any type of eye. Maybe you can draw eye like this. I'll show you some other version. So you can make eye like this, like closed eye or smiling type of eye, like this with the nose and mouth. This is good. Or you can draw just normal eyes with kind of circle. Yeah, like this. Any type of eye you can draw. So we finished all the details of the head. Anything else? It's done, right? Yeah. Now we have to move on to the next, uh, you know, shape, the big body. First, we will draw the belt. Then we can draw this white lines. Yeah, that's it. Very simple. So first, we can draw the belt. So belt is here. So let me start with that rectangle shape in the middle. So there is a small rectangle shape for the buckle of the belt. Add that shape. And add one more tiny uh, rectangle inside. Done. What is next step? Just add sign, uh, lines on the side. So here you can add straight lines or curves. I'm adding slightly curved lines, both sides, okay? Slightly curved lines for the belt. So we can feel that roundness of the body. Curve, another curve. So these, you know, width of this, these two sides should be equal. Almost equal, right? Yeah. You're not taking measurements or anything, but it should look similar. Yeah, next is we have to draw the sides of this clothes. Let's start with this line in the middle, okay? And then we can add this part. So you can add the white fluffy thing here. Just start one big rectangle at the top and that will continue here below that belt okay so that's the first step just add two lines like a rectangle shape from the beard starting from the beard okay from that line continue that same line below it and repeat the same type of line on the side of that big uh, rectangle or triangle like shape. Same width, okay, it is the same width. These two are same, you can take measurement with the pencil. Just check, okay, yeah, it's similar, right? Same, right? So do that curve. And here you can erase this line. So the these two lines inside the shape you can erase. So it's like, one line continuing on this side and this line is just behind it. Okay. And we have to do some, yeah, a little bit more details. We have to do this fluffy thing at the end of the sleeves. Here you can add a small tiny oval or rectangle. I'm adding a small oval at the end of this shape, closer to mitten. And that is outside that sleeve. So you can see that oval is going outside that rectangle shape. Same thing, we have to do the same type of line here, shape here, a small oval. And don't forget to erase that lines inside that fluffy thing that white area. That's going to be white, right? So no color there. Yeah, we'll do a shadow with blue color. But there is no dark color there. So erase the pencil lines. What is next? We have to draw that boots, right? So you have to say this is one single shape now. 
So I have to separate with the same type of oval like shape. Oval, oval. Okay, and here is the lines inside this oval shape. We have finished drawing the sander. So drawing sander. Now we can draw the chimney, or if you want, you can add something else, like maybe a landscape with lots of houses or Christmas trees. Yeah, anything is fine, okay? But I'm going to draw this one. So if you like this thing, you can add this, or you can think about your own ideas. You can do your own background details. I'm simply adding a rectangle shape from the sides of the boots. You can see how I'm doing this. A small rectangle and touching that you know, boots, the lower line of the boots. And add that snow with some wavy line. And add some bricks with some sleeping lines. Yeah, I don't have space. I'm adding small, small lines and some straight lines. So it's a brick, right? So this is one brick, the next brick. So some small, small rectangles joined together. And then next line will come between these two lines. So it will look nice. Yeah. So we have completed the drawing. Yeah, you can work on the background details now. And if you have a black Sharpie or black permanent marker, you can outline. Always use permanent marker, okay? If your Sharpie is not permanent, don't use it. There is, you know, there is a small word. It's written there as permanent marker. Check that. If you have this, take your Sharpie and outline it. So, Twinkle, any questions now? It's all good, right? Yeah, we don't have any questions for now, but okay. it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is so simple. I think it is very easy to draw. So yeah, maybe if they can put in the chat with other details they want to add to their drawings, like we have Sunil, um, mm -hmm. he said, if you have space, can you draw the house and sleigh? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, definitely you can draw, uh, you know, other details sleigh and houses yeah i'm just working on the outline and if you don't have a sharpie that is okay it's fine you don't need to worry Maybe you can outline later with a normal marker. When, when your paint is dry, you can use normal markers too. But not before that, you know. But if you're planning to do crayons or oil pastels, you can use normal markers too. So it will not blend with the colors. You're not using water in oil pastel, right? So in that case, you can use normal markers too. We have a question from Shikha. Mm -hmm. Can you show how to draw sleigh? Yeah, I'll show in a different paper. I'll just, uh, let's finish this and then I'll show how to draw the sleigh. Yep, oops, I'm doing faster, making some mistake with the Sharpie. <laughs> yeah, so do, uh, you know, your Sharpie line slowly because we cannot erase if you make mistakes, right? So just careful. And yeah, you can draw a sleigh with the, yeah, I'll draw a simple version. So you can start with a rectangle like shape. At the top, you can add a big curve and a small U shape and another line. So it's like this. Like this, okay. And you can shape it, okay. You can give a nice interesting shape. So you can start with a rectangle. And maybe you can change the sides with slightly rounded shape, both sides. So we'll get the shape of the sleigh and a curve, U shape, 
and again a curve and you can decorate it now. Maybe you can add one more line. Yeah, maybe you can add some patterns or designs. Yeah, this is good. And this, the last thing you can add this, the, the, the you know, the thing that is below it, like sleigh. Two rectangle shapes and curves like this. Yeah, some people will make it into nice, you know, design like this, both side. Yeah, all these things you can do. Even you can add patterns here. Yeah. So this is one easy way to draw sleigh. Done. And uh, you know, you can work on the background after painting this sand up, maybe later. If you're planning to do big, you know, big buildings or big trees or some other details in the background, yeah, you can work on that after painting sand up. So let's finish uh, sand up first. Okay. So I, I will tell the colors before we start. So we'll start with this uh, skin tone. So I'm going to use this yellow ochre for the skin tone very lightly. Yeah, you can use peach color. If you have a peach, you can use peach. I don't have a peach in this set. So I'm going to use yellow ochre. That's very easy. Make it lighter by adding more water. If you're using watercolor. If you're using acrylic or gouache, you can add white to make it lighter. So that is the difference. Okay. And uh, then we will do a lighter blue shadow for this white areas. And finally, we can take red color for this clothes. Yeah, this big bag can be any color, can be brown or yellow ochre. So I use yellow ochre for the bag and some dark browns or black color for the shoes and belt. So these are the colors. So let's start with the skin tone. I'm going to take my small brush. This is, yeah, brush number four or six. This is brush number six. Take a smaller brush and dip your brush in the water if you're painting with watercolor. And take yellow ochre. So this is yellow ochre, like brownish yellow color. Any skin tone is fine. You can choose the color you like. I'm using yellow ochre. I'm going to take yellow ochre to this palette. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to add some more water so you can make it into a light tone. And check on the rough paper. So it should look like a light yellowish tone yeah Vanisha was asking me to slow down okay I'll slow down so don't worry so uh, so this is one light skin tone we are going to do another tone you can use is you can use light brown you know for the skin tone you can use light brown and add more water so it will look like a pale brownish light color very light okay this is also a good skin tone or else you can take vermilion red or orange and add water. So this is like a pinkish peachish tone, vermilion red. So anything is fine. You can choose the color you like. I'm going to use yellow ochre. Okay, take yellow ochre, add water in a palette. Then apply the skin tone over that tiny gap here on the face. Very light tone. So I give you three options. You can use yellow ochre or you can take a light brown. Or you can take vermilion red or orange for the skin tone. But it should be lighter. You have to add more water to make it lighter. And you will, you know, you, you will get this uh, replay after the session. So you can watch that and, you know, redo it. So don't worry. Do it slowly. You can do it in your own pace. Don't worry. So I just used yellow ochre for the skin tone. Yellow ochre plus more water. I didn't add any other color. 
So I told you different options. These are three different options. So you don't need to mix these three colors together. Just take any of these three color and add water and lighten the tone and apply on the face. Okay, so let's move on to this lighter shadow color. So there is a shadow, light bluish tone around this, you know, white areas. This is completely optional, okay? This is actually very nice. It's, it will make that shape kind of rounded, kind of 3D, okay? That's why I'm using this shadow color. For that, you can use any blue color. Take a small brush. Yeah, I'm going to change it into a smaller brush, brush number four, tiny brush. And I'm going to use some blue color. Any blue is fine. I'm taking this light blue on the side of this. Yeah, any blue is fine. Take ultramarine blue or cobalt blue or prussian blue. Take a little bit of blue into the palette. Do a clean surface and add water. Make a very light tone of the blue color. Then just outline the, uh, you know, all the white areas. You can do one side or you can simply do a border, toe pan border. Anything is fine, but it's a very light tone. You can see it's kind of, you know, tiny line and very light too. Okay, I'm going to focus a little bit more so you can see it clearly. So here you can see that blue line. So here I used ultramarine blue. Here I'm using cerulean blue. Both are fine. And a light blue color for the shadow of this white fluffy beard. Yeah, this one line is fine. Smaller, smaller, smaller details, right? thin line with the tip of the brush. So just outline wherever you want this white thing. And next is the small tiny oval. Just outline that shape. Just outline this shape. Mm, where is next? Yeah, just white line here do it slowly okay take your own time slowly do it yeah and you can finish it later you can watch this this will be available in our youtube so don't worry don't need to do it faster anytime come back and complete this work and i'm going to make the gloves you know the hands also white so i'm going to do a light blue outline for the hands too Mm, anywhere else? Okay, this part too. And the snow. Snow also needs one outline. So it's lots of pencil lines. I forgot to erase it actually. Oops. Yep. See, after painting, we cannot erase the line. So just careful. If you don't want to show the pencil line, you cannot erase it, you know. Otherwise, it's okay. I'm adding a, a small thin outline below that snow shape, that wavy line. Below this line, I mean, here. Here, just a small thin border. Yeah, we have to do this one too. A tiny line around this shape. Yes, we finished it. So all the white areas completed. Now we will take Mm, red color then after that we can take this brown lines and this yellow color for the big back yeah the back can be red or you know brown or yellow color or any color you like because i don't want to repeat the same red color that's why i choose a different color for the back but if you like red you can choose red color Okay, Vanisha was asking how to make skin color. So the skin color is just yellow ochre. Take your 
in a yellow ochre, this one, something like this tone, okay? And take a small brush, take a little bit of yellow ochre to the palette and add more water. And test on a different rough paper. So this looks a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more water. This way you can make the skin tones very easy. Light me here. <laughs> okay, so let's do the next step. So we're going to take red color, right? Yeah. Red. Um, yeah, you can take red, this red, or you can mix these two color and make another red. Yeah, any red is fine. I'm going to mix these two red color and make a kind of, you know, medium darker red tone. You can see this. So it's between this vermilion and crimson red. But you can choose the color you like. Okay, If you just want this red color, you can use this color. Or if you just want this vermilion red, you can take that color too. There is no rule. You can take your own color. Choose the color you like. I'm taking this brush number six. And I'm going to take this vermilion red. And mixing it in the palette. Vermilion plus crimson red. I'm adding tiny bit more water and I washed my brush. Then I'm going to take crimson red. I just want a medium tone of red color. So this vermilion is more kind of orangish bright red and crimson is kind of pink tone, right? Pinkish red color actually. So I'm going to mix these two color. Yeah, I like this one. And I'm adding tiny bit more water. Yes, this color for, for the dress. So I'm going to check. So this is the color. But you can choose the color you like, okay? A red color you like. Any red. So this blue is dry, right? Check that. If the blue is dry, we can start painting the, the red color. So let's start with, from the top. Outline the shape. It's a very small shape, right? So just outline with the tip of the brush. And we are doing only one layer of color. I'm not doing any, you know, second layer or anything. Just one layer is fine. Just outline first, then paint inside. So use the tip of the brush so it won't go outside you will get the shape correctly now we have to paint this sleeve use the tip do it carefully See if, you know, if your colors are going accidentally outside it, if it's bleeding outside, that's okay. Don't try to correct now. Let it dry. Let's, you know, uh, keep that way and you can, you know, correct it when it is dry. You can take a clean paper towel, clean wet paper towel and just erase it. Yeah, that you can do after dry, after the paint is dry, okay? If you try to do it now, it will spread more because it's water. And small, small mistakes, you know, that is okay. In watercolor, that happens. And a small, tiny gap here that is also red color. Yay, this is fun. This is nice painting, right? Simple and cute. Yeah, uh, for the belt, maybe you can add some yellow color. So I didn't do any color, just white color. But if you like some yellow color there, you can do that. Yep. So we have to do this part. See, you can see kind of, you know, that red color is went into the belt shape, but I'm not touching anything. 
I'm, I'm just keeping that way, okay? If you do it, and if you try to correct that, it will spread more. So th those things, you know, will happen when we do watercolor. It's okay. So outline that shape and color this. And if your color is looking so pale and if you want to make it brighter, add one more layer later. Just wait for that layer to dry and add the same color one more time. So you can make it darker and brighter. So I'm going to wait for this color to dry for applying the color of the belt because, you know, this is wet, right? The red color is wet. If you do brown color now, you know, these two colors will spread into each other. So I'm going to wait for that layer to dry. And by that time, maybe we can finish this bricks or the colors of the boot or something like that. Oh, I forgot there is a tiny red color here. Let's finish that. And then we will talk about a brown color. Yep, I forgot that. This part is red. Yeah, this the boots uh, can be brown or black. I'm just taking dark brown for the boots, okay? So let's finish painting the boots and this bricks because they are not touching the wet colors, right? Wet red colors. So they are, you know, away from that wet red color. So we can take dark brown or black color for the boots now. I'm taking dark brown, that's called burnt umber. You can see this one. And paint the boots. Tiny bit of water. I'm not making it too light, it's kind of a medium brown color tone. When black is also fine. Those who have black in their set, you can use that, okay? Yeah, the bricks can be same color. So I'm going to add water into the same brown color. I'm making it really light for the bricks. It's not too dark. It's just a medium light tone. Same color with more water. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for two minutes for this colors to dry, okay? Then I can do this brown color and the color of the back. So, by the time, Twinkle, can you explain the contest once again before, you know, we finish this? So, yeah, so I'll get time for this color to dry. Yep, sure. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay, so this is our Christmas art contest. It's all open for kids 5 to 7 and 8 to 12 years. And then when December 18 to December 29, where to post, you can post it on your Instagram, Facebook group, and Circle community if you are a Nemes Art student. And then choose one video from three video tu uh, tutorials. Then create your own version. We have how to paint Olaf, how to draw and paint Christmas Nutcracker. And then the third choice, will be our um, Santa up in the chimney. And then uh, rules and condition, post your kid's picture holding their artwork. Make sure to add your kid's name in each group in the caption. Use the hashtags Nimi's Art, Nimi's Christmas 2021. And then you can tag us at Nimi's Art. Then contest ends at 11 p.m. CST on November 21. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for updates. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified if we upload new videos. Please do not DM your entries. Do not make it your story. Do not email your entries. And then prizes. We have one t-shirt, Just Start Kids Premium Tea, one art material, and then four lucky winners who will get from 5 to 7 and 8 to 12 years. So two from 5 and two from 8 to 12. Winner's announcement will be December 31, 2021. And that's it. 
Yeah, thank you, Twinkle. So I hope this dry. Yeah, it's kind of dry. It's fine. But you can check your painting, okay? If it is not dry, maybe you can wait a few more minutes. You can just watch how I'm going to paint this belt. And you can do it later, okay? It's the same color. I'm just going to use the same brown tone, burnt umber. With a tiny brush. I hope it will not spread. Yeah. Same color inside this small shape, rectangle shape. Here. See, yeah, you can use glitters to decorate the background if you like some glitters or you no know, sparkly things. It's Christmas, right? So you can be creative. Yeah. Just thing, make it your painting beautiful. And the last thing is we have to paint the bag. So yeah, you can take a light brown or you can just take red color, same red color. Or you can take dark brown. Anything is fine, okay? I'm just taking yellow ochre. This color, the same color I use for the skin tone. But this time I'm not making it into very light color. It's kind of a medium tone. Yeah, this color is good. Oh, I forgot to color the sleeve. Look at that. I forgot that. Yeah, maybe I'll paint it after this. Yep. See this sleeve I forgot. Here I painted that. Yeah, let's finish this back color and then we will do that. So you should be careful then. To, it should not blend into the colors of the back. Oops. Yeah, this part is completely dry, so you can simply do it. Yep. And the last thing is you have to paint this part. I forgot to paint that. If you already painted it, yeah. Maybe you guys painted already. Yeah, I'm going to do it very carefully without touching the that wet color. Yeah, it's kind of touching it. It's a little bit spreading into the yellow, okay, but that's okay. I'm going to keep it that way. Yep, got it. So some, you know, part of this red is going into that yellow, okay, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. Yeah, you can work on the background details. So before, uh, you know, we will wind up, we will, uh, you know, explain the, the, the lessons, the video lessons, it's available in our academy. Twinkle, can we explain that before we wind up? Yeah, and I'm going to do some background for this thing. So you can work on your background after the session, okay? I'll add yeah. some trees and stuff. So if you want to learn uh, painting at your home, we have 100 plus videos avail available for you. You can visit our website, uh, academy.nameisart.com. And then we have little artists and young artists. That means five to seven years for little artists. And then young artists, that would be eight to 12 years. And you can always check out all the videos inside. We have videos from uh, the Christmas uh Christmas videos are paintings for you. Thanksgiving, Halloween, everything that you want to draw is inside. So, yeah, enjoy your holiday at your home. Yeah, so I hope you... Yeah, so you can work on your background after this. I'm just adding some Christmas trees behind it. Yeah. Maybe oh. you can add sleigh. Yeah, something like this. Some lines. And add some greens. Just behind it. So this is completely optional. Okay, I'm giving you some ideas, but you can work on your background. Here you can see it is plain background. A little bit more trees. Yep. Yeah, all these things. Maybe you can add a big, you know, mountain behind it. Yes, like this, some snow at the top. This looks right, good, right? Yes. 
yeah but you know you can see both both are okay if you, you can keep it keep plain or you can add some details any details you like this is one just one example okay and you can paint with the colors you like you can just use sap green maybe this green yeah this green and some blue color for the mountains dark blue or light blue yeah you can use ultramarine blue okay so this colors and use bigger brush if you are painting big space okay so this is brush number six you can even take brush number 10 to do this big mountain if you are planning to do this yeah it's just an ultramarine blue you can check both okay And this painting will be here in our YouTube channel. So you can check how I'm painting this background. So these, uh, you know, trees are just triangle shapes with some lines in it. That's it. If you're saying it is so difficult, so simple, just triangle shapes with a rounded tip at the top. And the mountain is just a kind of, you know, kind of, yeah triangle like shape that is also kind of triangle shape and i'm painting the mountain with ultramarine blue or we can use ultramarine blue or even purple or prussian blue and take bigger brush for bigger spaces and smaller brush for smaller radius and add some glitters you know, sparkly things. You can add some stars in the sky. Yeah, I'm going to do this green too. You can take your own time and slowly complete it because if you paint the whole thing quickly, maybe it will spread into each other, okay? Now, if you're an expert, maybe you know how to control that, the flow of the water. But if you're a beginner, maybe you need more time. So just do it slowly, okay? I'm just using sap green for the trees. Sap green, it's very nice green, you know, that earthy green color, more natural green color. I'll always, you know, pick this color for the green trees. Very lightly, you can see how I'm adding lots of water. It's not thick paint, it's paint with lots of water. yeah see i'm not doing it now okay i'm going to wait for that green blue color to dry maybe i can do this part I'm not touching that blue area now yeah i think it's better to do some tiny white gap so it will it will not spread oops see i'm leaving a tiny gap where this you know that blue thing Oops. So enjoy your background painting. Slowly complete it. So I can keep this as like a snow <laughs> from the, you know, snow on the tree. Yeah, maybe. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Very nice, right? I like that background. I like that colors, you know, color combination with blue, red, and green color. It's so nice. It's very pleasant color combination. Yeah, maybe I can add some stars like sequins or something to look nice, right? Yeah, think about some creative ideas for the background and complete your work and you can enter that in the contest. You can upload in uh, any social media where your parents are there or you can upload it in our community yeah, if you're our student yes any question before we leave twinkle no uh, we don't have any questions okay it's beautiful it's beautiful it's perfect. yeah the colors are good it's yeah. christmas yeah it's christmas time <laughs> it's christmas time so everyone are excited so um yeah if you want to join the contest please you know, uh, post your entry 
Um, you can choose from how to paint Olaf, Nutcracker, and some Santa up in the chimney. And you can post it on your Facebook. Don't forget to uh, use our hashtags, Nimis Christmas 2021. So we can, you know, see all the entries. Yes. Yeah, and you guys can take a, sc a screenshot if you want to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, do the exact background. Maybe you can keep uh, take a screenshot of this work yeah, and slowly complete it. And you, you will get this video just after this, right, Twinkle? Yes, yes. Yeah, they will get Okay. That's great. Yeah. So thank you, guys. Thank you for joining today. Hope you enjoyed this Christmas painting. Yes. It's a beautiful Christmas painting yeah. <laughs> session today. So yeah, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, so bye-bye, guys. Bye -bye. See you next time. Next time. Yeah, see you, you next year. <laughs> yeah, next year. See you next year. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.